Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos, and today I've got a CVP-809. Now, the Clavinova series is split into CSP, CLP, and CVP. This is the CVP series. The latest CVP-909 has been launched, so we're getting these CVP-809s in part exchange. They're the top of the range. Um, they've only been uh, superseded in the last uh, year or so, so they're really up to date still with what they offer you. Um, but being the top of the range, they're going to give you wooden keys. They're going to be the best speaker system because they've got this big channel underneath that gives you a lot of bass response. And like your subwoofers are all mounted down there as well as your tweeter top speakers up here. So again, a really big round sound um, and a big fat screen here. So it's very, very clear to see what you're doing. We've almost got a big iPad stuck on the front, haven't we? So... The sounds on here are, are very good and there's a big, big choice. It's a, more, a bit more like a keyboard, like a Tyrus or a Genos in the way that it's giving you um, lots and lots of features as well as being based around a very good piano keyboard and a very good uh, sound engine to produce really good voices. So this is a CVP-809. The model before this was the 709 and before that the 609, and they were all the, the new range which gave you a touch screen. Prior to that, you were using the buttons around the screen. So it's much easier now to go in and be able to just touch an area you want to go into and make some changes, um, rather than having to go through lots more buttons and um, buttons around the side of the screen. So you literally just touch what you want to go into and the choice is very, very easy to use. Now, one of the features on the CVP series is that you have what's called a piano room and then you have the home area. Now the piano room is for the more purist piano players who want to use more so pianos than anything else. If we go into the piano room on this button here, we've got this screen that we can see and we have uh, a grand piano in the middle. And if we touch the piano, we can decide what type of piano sound that we want, whether we want to have a, a grand Yamaha, uh, a Bosendorf for Grand, uh, an upright piano, a honky-tonk piano, or one of the electric pianos. So we can choose what sort of piano we want, and then we can decide whether we want the grand piano lid to be up. We can bring the lid up high. If you come into the screen here, you'll see we've got this choice of whether we have the lid up or down look, and that can make a difference, just like on a real grand piano, to whether we're gonna get a, a bright sound and a louder sound when it's up, or a mellow sound when it's down a little bit quieter. And then we can look at this outside and say, right, well, we're in this big um, cavernous area at the moment. If we touch the background area, we're in the cathedral, we can make it sound more like the ambience of a stage or a room or, or no ambience at all, or up to a concert hall. We can decide where the sound's gonna be coming from um, to give us the, the most accurate sound for what our choice of music might be. So we can choose the piano from this screen here. Then we go into the type of piano we're using, and we can bring the, the lid up. We even get the reflection, look at all the strings in the lid, it's very well done. And then we can go into the background and we can choose cathedral, stage. And this um, might not be so obvious when I play now, but if I play with the, uh, this is the Yamaha Grand in a um, room situation, we haven't got very much echo at the end. We've got quite a flat sound. I go to the cathedral it's this big expanse of space that you can hear in the sound it's very very clever if I go to the stage a bit less if I go to the concert hall so we get more of an echo and that adds to our experience of playing the piano we're getting the feel as though we're playing in a, a much bigger area it's very very clever what you can do now if we press this button in the corner here um, we can now go into adding some instruments in with us. So we've got here guitar, drums and bass. Now, the way this works is that when we play the piano normally, obviously we're, we're creating our own rhythms. We could have a metronome on an acoustic piano, but on a digital piano, what they've um, Yamaha have tried to make us realise is that we can get um, different instruments coming in with us and we can have a band. We can press this drum kit here and this gives us choices of different styles of music. So we can scroll through different pages of styles. So here's six eight soul ballad. Um, we've got seventies cool uh, shuffle. So if we try one of these out, let's try seventies cool shuffle. What it will do is it will give me a band that will follow my playing. 
And as long as I play a triad of three notes that make the chord, it will follow that chord from whatever music I'm playing. So let's give it a try. We'll put the rhythm on. And there's my drums. When I play a chord, we've got a bass line. In this case, we've got keyboards. dimension to playing the piano because not just are you getting your piano playing the band in the instrument is following your chords and um, you can play to its speed but we can tap in our speed so I can go one two three four and that will tell me it's 95 beats to the minute and then when I play now two three four the same rhythm let's have a look now at what we can do with um, the band itself so we've got a band playing if we press this cog on the screen if you come over to the screen again press this cog and we can now see we've got the three parts of the band now there's, a, there's an organ playing I can hear but that's the sort of the rhythm side of the of the playing so when I play now two three four, we can turn off the parts so now I've got the bass player. Then we can bring in the drums. And then I can bring in the rhythm section. And when I stop, I'll get a drum fill in. And that organ does carry on a long time. So we've got lots of ways that we can use this little band. Um, now we've got this rhythm selected. Uh, it'll work for isn't she lovely? So I'm just going to put the speed back up again. I'm going to tap in the speed. That's my speed now. And I'm going to play through with a song. quite good fun isn't it so we've got lots of choices in the piano room area that we can bring in this little band if we find another choice now go into cool jazz club and again I'll get this band playing in the background so I'll play a chord so I play slide again we can cut bits out so I can get the drums out or the bass or the guitars bring all the band back in Let's just try one more. Then. Let's go into this band a third time. Well, this time we're going to uh, one called Country Pop Ballad. There it is, Country Pop Ballad. And... <laughs>
So currently we're in the piano room section and that's where we're getting the, the really good piano sounds and we've got a big choice of them. If we go into the, uh, the piano itself, we can see we've got upright piano, which is quite a straightforward, quite a thin sound. We've got a Bosendorfer, which is really a beautiful uh, Austrian grand. Go to studio ground. It's a big, big piano sounds. Let's go down to we've got the the more classic sounds too. We've got a honky tonk. And we've got things like. Um, suitcase uh, clean sound. Vintage. So we've got some great sounds in there um, and we've got the ambience that we can change and we've got the, the, the band that we can bring in with us to make it a uh, a real uh, choice of what we want to sound like. Now this is the, the piano area of the instrument. If we want to play it more like a keyboard, where we're using the rhythm section, maybe more recording functions, um, we can go into the home button. And this button here changes it back to our main screen. If you come to the screen over here, you'll see that we have uh, quite a lot of ways that we can change what we're using. This is our main voice. We can go into the voice area and we've got all these categories, pianos, organs, guitars, string and vocal, brass and woodwind, percussion and drums. And they've all got lots of pages of choice. We've got all these subcategories underneath. So if we're in the, uh, the percussion section, we've got chromatic percussion, orchestral percussion, drum kits, world uh, effects, uh, SFX. So we've got all these different things that we can go into. If we go back to the home page, this is where it's, it's housed. So our main sound is here, but we might want to mix it with a second sound. So we add layer and our second voice then comes in. And again, we've got the choices of all those sections to make uh, a mix of two sounds. On top of that, we can have a lower voice and that lower voice will be to, to give us a, a better accompaniment. So maybe a, a piano in the left hand, or it might be a, a string sound or a choir sound just to fill out. So in this case, I've got piano ooze that will become our left hand sound while we're mixing two together. Um, on this screen here, we've also got um, styles and songs. So our style area is where we play our chord accompaniment. And that can be one of lots of different ways. You can play um, one finger chord, so like you have on a keyboard. So we could play one note and the whole chord accompaniment will, will play. And we can make minor and seventh chords. We can play three and four note chords and it will um, still trigger off all that backing for us. Or we can have the full keyboard setting where we can play anywhere on the keyboard a chord and it will still pick up. So at the moment, because I've set into what's called multi-finger, I've got a, a split point here. And that means that the chords are in the left hand. <laughs> my right hand sound will be whatever I've got mixed. So I've got a, a combination of my chords from my left hand and my melody sound from my right hand. Now what's really good about this instrument is uh, very much like some of the top end keyboards, if we choose a, uh, a rhythm selection, so let's go into standards and jazz, and I go into jazz combo, acoustic jazz, it will give me the, the correct accompaniment that I've chosen, but it will also give me four different upper sounds, right hand sounds, that will work very well with jazz combo. So if I go to this information, you can come over to the screen for a second, and we go to the information button, this will tell us what voices we're going to get in the four variations. So we've got uh, a main is grand piano and vibes and jazz guitar. 
Uh, the second one is clarinet. Third one is the accordion. And the fourth is the jazz scats and the guitar, jazz guitar. So we can choose these from these four buttons over here. So if I go into button number one, it's chosen the top line for me now. And when I play... backings but they can give you some help with what voices to choose and that's from this one touch setting now the way I play this instrument is I use an extra button on the end called OTS link and that means that if I want to change my voices while I'm playing I can change the accompaniment and the voices will automatically link up it couples up the A button with number one the B with number two so when I'm playing I tend to use the the variations on the rhythm accompaniment section and then the voices will follow me with a new voice. So let's try some of the backings out that we've got in this section. We've got all these different categories along the top that start with pop and rock. So if we try out the pop and rock section, let's try um, just hearing a few of the introductions because these intros are really good to kind of set the scene for what you're going to play. So if we're on orchestral pop, let's just try on intro two and we'll see what it sounds like. <laughs> rhythms you'll almost recognize as a Coldplay song or a, a track out of the charts and that's really good because it gives you some inspiration to be able to use it very very well now if we go through a bit further here's one called 80s pop diva and again if we listen to that intro from the rhythm section you'll get an idea of what it could be like <laughs> a really good intro from each of these different styles. Let's go to another one, go to the rock section. Let's try 80s Rock Diva. Got a bit of Tina Turner out there. Uh, Canadian rock is probably gonna be uh, Brian Adams. Something else to bear in mind with this is that we're also going to make a difference to the, the backing depending on whether we're playing a major or a minor chord. So if I play that same one again with a minor chord, they all sound a little bit different depending on whether you're on the major or the minor chord. Okay, we'll go a little bit further. Let's go to 70s pop and rock. We've got one called 70s pop duet. So they're really good to just give you that theme. Let's try some more so you get an idea. 70s shuffle rock. So they're giving us that really good intro to start our song and, and give us a kind of a, a beginning. Let's try... Um, this section is um, Euro Epic Ballad. Another called Irish Pop Ballad.
if we go further through this section, which is just all pop and rock, there's literally hundreds. If we go into um, disco, we've got 80s disco beat. <laughs> Legend. It's a really big sound, isn't it? Now all these are aimed at, uh, are just giving you a bit of a boost and, and helping your playing. They're going to be an aid to you sounding better and enjoying your whole experience a lot more. Here's a couple more uh, street beatbox. And um, here's one called Dream Dance. Let's try something with this. Okay, so we've covered all the styles in this instrument and we've covered the piano room. The, the other part that I really want to show you is the, the voice area. Now these voice categories look quite basic from this panel here. We've got just piano, organ, guitar and bass, strings and vocal, brass woodwind, drums and percussion, synth and favourites. But if we go into the actual button on the instrument, we can see that we've got all these categories and each of them have subcategories. So if we go into the piano area, we've got uh, VRM Grand, Grand Piano Uprights, Layered Voices, Electric Pianos, and we go through to harpsichords and clavichords. But we've also got lots of voices in each of these sections. So the pianos themselves, let's start off with um, the Concert Grand, which is a fantastic instrument. <laughs> Down lower. 
keyboard. It's really like a real piano. Every single note has been sampled lots of times um, with different velocities to make you hear back the sound of what it would be like on a real piano. And so they've sampled it really, really well on each of the different types of instruments. If we go to the rock piano. Uh, the themic grand gives us like an echo. So we can play some nice. ambient we get a, like an echo afterwards it repeats it and then we've got things like octave pianos so we can now get Then we get the two octaves. So it fattens it all out. I can play. Get this. Like we've got lots of hands. Let's go down to the next page. Mellow grand, a yeah, mellow piano. is um, cocktail piano which is I call it a plinky plonky so it gives us a delayed note that's higher pitch so great effects uh, upright pianos very um, you don't realize how compared to a grand piano they're a lot thinner sounds Tonk. And a saloon upright. So some great piano sounds there. If we go to the layered piano section, then these are going to give us some extra ambiences and features as well. Characteristics, and it's great to experiment. If we go to the organ section next, the organs um, go from the sort of Hammond tone wheel sound to classical pipe organ. Let's go to the pipe organ first. Now, the pipe organ, really rich sound with these big bass speakers and the tweeters, we get such a rich sound. And you can turn all the chord features off and just play big bass notes, and you get a really big sound. <laughs> good to get you the the ambience of the cathedral they're in because after we let go of the note it continues just like the ambient echo and you can almost hear the, the sound of the room as well Uh, 
chapel organ is nice. <laughs> some great theatre sounds. So it really covers everybody's uh, choice of sounds. It covers all age groups. That's the, the beauty. Theatre Seaside. Now the next one is called Organ Flutes. If we go into this section and go back to the home screen, we've got a little, um, I'm going to choose one first, just a minute. Uh, let's go into organ flutes standard. We go back to the home screen and we've got a little um, icon with draw bars on it. And when I press that, the home screen then gives me draw bars, just like a, a Hammond organ or one of the draw bar uh, manufacturers. So if you look at this screen here now, we can literally slide up and down all of the foot flute footages that we get in a set of draw bars. <laughs> in a Leslie speaker. And we've got all the in-between flutes as well. sets we can choose from so when we come out of here we've got uh, lots of sounds made up from those draw bars <laughs> sounds in there now the next section in the the big categories on the top here is guitars and bass and these are particularly good and what we can do is we can um, in all of the sound sections use a little um, speaker picture down here to hear what they could be played like so you get a good idea of the best way to make the sounds realistic so on my nylon uh, concert guitar I can play it myself but I can press this little speaker picture way to finger the notes to make it the most accurate and realistic. Now I can also go into this button called I and this tells me what I can get extra from the instrument from its uh, extra articulation feature. So it says play keys and legato and it says use the centre pedal which gives me like I'm tapping the front of the guitar so I could be playing Very well, but we can we can tap in something. Uh, if we go to other guitar sounds, let's go to the nylon guitar one. We we'll go into intro again. Use the centre pedal. Now, what this does this time is it gives me the harmonic effect of the string, so I can play. when I play the, the pedal downwards. Let's try some more guitars. That's the really good Spanish guitar sense. It's such a good sound. Now if we go to the uh, steel strung guitar, much brighter sounds. So uh, acoustic finger sound. sound that they're showing us how to use it. So really, really good sound quality. Uh, electric guitars, we can go into the shadows. Uh, funk pick. 
again, we've got this demo button. <laughs> Distortion guitars are great. <laughs> This little eye button so it's play keys and legato use the center pedal and again we've got an effect so we can get that effect on all the sounds and then we've got bass sounds synth bass sounds in the vocal and string section we've got solo instruments so we can start off with solo violin And we've got things like really nice cellos. And then we've got fiddles. Um, the ensemble section is going to give us big full instrument sections. These are great fun. Jazz vocals. And we can press different amounts to get different sounds. Latin. Really, really effective. Um, and again, we can get echo um, and things on those sounds. We can get a little demo. So some great sounds. Uh, the final one I want to show you is the classical choir. And this is um, all of the, uh, the boys' choirs. <laughs> with how we play. Uh, the next section along is brass and woodwind. Solo trumpets. Now some of these have effects with them. So if I go to the, uh, the big band trumpet, by pressing harder, I get the articulation effect. Uh, classic. And then we've got things like cornet. Brass ensemble, so chords of brass. <laughs> Saxophone solo instruments. <laughs> Breathy tenor's nice. And then ensembles of saxophones. <laughs> Good full sound. So we've got a vast amount of instruments. I'm not going to show you all of them, it's too many to show you, but to give you an example, they're all really, really high quality. This is the top of the Yamaha series. Uh, the keys feel great because they're wooden, and the sounds feel great because they're very well sampled through really good speakers. So this is a Yamaha CVP 
809. It's the top of the uh, range of the 800 series of CVPs. It will allow you to record. It will allow you to tweak the sounds. It will allow you to tweak the rhythm section, tweak the voices in them. It will allow you to play it like a piano, or like a keyboard or an organ, where you play left-hand chords rather than spacing your playing over the whole keyboard to produce, create the, the chords and the, the playability. Um, it's, it's a really good instrument to play, but you need to um, try it for yourself, really, and see how good it is. If I bring this lid down, it's all built into the lid, look, so it comes down. It's a beautiful piece of furniture. This is the matte black. They also make it in a polished black, and they also make it in a polished white. So we get these in very regularly in part exchange. So at the moment, it's a good time to buy them. We've got a, a selection to choose from of all different colours. Um, do get in touch. I'm David Cooper from Eve Pianos. Check out all our used CVP809s on our website, epianos.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.